And the next event coming up will be um, the separation of the dragon from the second stage. I believe this view here is, yep, it's of the trunk. We can see it separating from the second stage. A gorgeous view. We can see that Polaris Dawn. Separation confirmed. Polaris Dawn flying free into the sunrise. We're now at T plus 13 minutes and five seconds into the mission. Next major event will be nose cone deploy. Dragon, SpaceX. Today you embark on a journey not just for yourselves, but for all humanity. Each of you has trained tirelessly and prepared rigorously for this moment, the moment where we reach higher into space than ever before. As you gaze towards the North Star, remember that your courage lights the path for future explorers. We trust in your skills, your bravery, and your teamwork to carry out the mission that lies ahead. Know that the entire team back here is with you every step, watching, supporting, and cheering you on as you walk into space. We are sending you hugs from the ground, Godspeed, Polaris Dawn crew. May you make history and come home safely. Now words from our CE. Dragon, CE, welcome to orbit. The Falcon team is honored to have helped you start your incredible journey. We hope you enjoyed the ride. The whole SpaceX family is looking up to you. Godspeed and good luck. LD, CE, uh, message received. We appreciate the kind words. We wouldn't be on this journey without all 14,000 of you back at, uh, at SpaceX and everyone else cheering us on. We appreciate it, and we're going to get to work now. Some really nice words there from our tonight's launch director, Frank Messina, who, fun fact, was also the launch director on Inspiration4, as well as uh, chief engineer for this mission, Jared Metter. Really nice to see some endearing, uh, or hear some endearing words up to the crew. Well, and with that, the Polaris Dawn crew, they're now in orbit. T plus 15 minutes, and they are scheduled to spend up to the next five days in space. We heard that tone for a minute. We thought we might hear from the crew, but they're gonna spend the next five days in space before splashing down off the coast of Florida. The Polaris Dawn crew is the, the Polaris Dawn mission is the first mission in the Polaris program that will demonstrate new technologies, conduct extensive research, and ultimately culminate in a flight of SpaceX's Starship with humans on board. All of this while continuing to raise funds and awareness for important causes here on Earth. You can learn more about the Polaris Dawn program and the Polaris program at polarisprogram.com. This mission will fly higher than any Dragon mission to date, attempting to reach the highest Earth orbit ever flown for a crewed spacecraft, breaking the record set by Gemini 11 half a century ago. And there it looks like we can see uh, some nose cone separation action happening. Now, the Polaris Dawn crew will also be the first to test the Starlink laser-based communications in space. Over the course of the mission, we'll be checking in periodically with the crew. Next up, Dragon will initiate a two-day pre-breathe process to prepare the crew for their upcoming spacewalk, and that'll be this Thursday, September 12th. Dragon SpaceX nominal dehumidifier activation and service section Draco checkouts and nose cone open is in progress. Tempted at SpaceX, we are tracking. And again, that's Thursday, September 12th for that spacewalk, so please be sure to tune in for our live coverage of this historic milestone. 
And of course, we will also be back to bring you live coverage of Splashdown when the crew returns back to Earth. You can stay on top of any potential live events from the crew by following us on X at SpaceX.